first race. Starters for race number one. They're at the gate. Gate is moving for our first race. We have a field of seven. Slick flow is scratched. Emon Iman and Mark Haig. I wish, I wish with Lonnie Stokes. Rumpus Star and Mike Berrio. Billy and Bud, Charlie Miles. Smooth Sammy G, Gerald Legere. RR's Wanderer with Gordy Hennessy. And from the outside, Double Jack and Seven and Wayne Hubbard. Seven starters, race one. Here they come. They're off a great start and uh, from the middle of the pack. That's Smooth Sammy G racing for it. Amon Emon up the inside, grabbing the early lead, and they're three wide into that first turn as a double jack and seven makes it three wide around the first turn. Amon Emon and on the outside, Smooth Sammy G is a racing a second. I wish, I wish in third, then Rumpus Star racing fourth, Billy and Bud. Backing off into the six hole is Double Jack and Seven and the trailer Ari's Wanderer as they race by the opening quarter. Amon Iman takes them there, 30 and 1, and they race into that turn, heading to the 3 8s. It's Amon Iman. Smooth Sammy G getting the park trip on the outside second, filling that hole in third is I Wish, I Wish. Rumpus Star looks to move with cover from fourth, then Billy and Bud. Followed by Double Jack and Seven and R.E.'s Wanderer at the back of the pack, and they race to the half. And once again, Amon Iman on the outside, laying a second, is a smooth Sammy G. No room on the rail there. They pass the half by that marker in 101. I wish, I wish, getting a nice trip. Racing up on the inside to third. Then moving with cover, fourth on the outside, Billy and Bud. Rumpus Star caught in on the inside by the 5-8s now. They race to the three-quarters and out from second goes Lottie Stokes. And I wish, I wish to challenge and quickly takes advantage of the opening to take the lead. I wish, I wish, Amon Iman is a racing second now. Rumpus Star has moved to third. Now with a rush, Ari's Wanderer fourth and moving 132-3, and three, the three-quarters. I wish, I wish, opens up two and a half links. Amon, Emon, and Rumpus Star outside. RE's Wanderer tips out three wide, making it fourth. Then it's Billy and Bud, and a smooth Sammy G off the turn. Lottie and I wish, I wish, has a healthy lead. They're going to have to battle for second. RE's Wanderer to the outside gets there. Going to be I wish, I wish. Lonnie Stokes takes your first race. RE's Wanderer, Rumpus Star. Amon, Emon, Billy and Bud, Smooth Sammy G, and Double Jack and Seven. Time of the mile, 2.03 and 4. And we're parading back now, winner of the first race on your afternoon. It's the three entry, number th Three, I wish, I wish. A brown Philly three by drop off out of CR Blaze of Glory and she by no nukes. Owned by Art Davidson of St. John. Bred by Art, John Davidson trains for driver Lonnie Stokes this afternoon. I wish, I wish. Stepping to a maiden record today, 203 and 4. I wish, I wish. And Lonnie Stokes take race number one. This afternoon, lobster tail and beer with Gerald Legere. I'm the big dog in Gordy Hennessy, talking about my boy with Chris Davies. Holiday Moon, Sam Hodgen. Rick Armstrong has Satan's little number from post five. Rita Seelster, Mark Haig. Red Boots with Steve Trites. The outside post here goes to victory.com and Lonnie Stokes. Eight starters. This is your second race, and here they come. They're off and talking about my boy, busting on the gate. So is Satan's little number, racing into that first turn. I am the big dog, makes it three into that first turn off stride. Lobster tail and beer. And they're getting by him okay, but they're still three wide into that first turn by the eighth and up the back stretch. I'm the big dog, sets the early pace. Talking about my boy sitting in a second. Satan's little number gets away comfortably in a third. Then victory.com, Holiday Moon, Rita Seelster, Red Boots trailing after resuming the pace is Lobster Tail and Beer, that first marker 30 and 4 fifths. 
Racing single file now into that far turn, setting the early pace with a two-length lead as I'm the big dog. Talking about my boy has a second. Satan's little number racing in third. Victory.com has fourth. No movers yet as they round that turn and head to the half. Setting the pace and cutting it out as I'm the big dog. Talking about my boy, Satan's little number. Victory.com a third now, moving up to fourth on the outside. Red Boots followed by Holiday Moon. Rita Sealster and Lobster Tail and Beer, the half, 103 and 1. Into the turn they go, heading to the 5 eighths. It's still I'm the Big Dog. Now on the outside, Satan's little number is shaken loose. He is first over, racing on, challenging for the lead. Racing in third now, talking about my boy. Red Boots on the outside, fourth, victory.com, Rita Sealster. Holiday Moon and Lobster Tail and Beer still trails. Three quarters. 135 and 1. I'm the big dog, a half length over Satan's little number. Caught in third, looking for room. Is a talking about my boy? Outside fourth, Red Boots. Victory.com has fifth, and we have one eighth to go. Round the turn they come, racing for home. It is still. I'm the big dog, and here comes talking about my boy shaking loose in the stretch. I'm the big dog, talking about my boy neck and neck, and here they are, it looks like. Talking about my boy, I'm the big dog, Satan's little number, then Red Boots, Victory.com, Holiday Moon, Rita Sealster and Lobster Tail and Beer. Time 205 and 4. Six starters for $1,050 from the rail. Shady Martin and a Steve Trites. R.M. Petit Prince and Lottie Stokes. Fern Hill Treasure with Gary Wright. Aries Andrew, Gordy Hedesey. Daya Harlaka with Chris Davies. The outside post goes to Gerald Legier with Jacob. Six starters, race number three, and here they come. Hair off, and Jacob from the far outside in the row and is racing for the early lead. Shady Martin has a second on the inside as they hit that first turn, and Jacob didn't take long to find the front end. He quickly has a length lead, Shady Martin, and moving up a third on the outside as they make their way up the back stretch is Daya Harlaka. Off stride is Shady Martin, buckles a bit, but back pacing. That gives Jacob two links now on the field. Shady Martin is back racing a two-second. Daya Harlaka parked outside third. R.M. Petit Prince has fourth. Opening quarter, 29 and two, and they make their way to the three-eighths. Jacob sets the early fractions a length over Shady Martin, and Daya Harlaka has found the inside. Now R.M. Petit Prince out moving first over fourth. Fernhill Treasure and the trailer is R.E.'s Andrew. Make their way around the turn. Here they come in front of the grandstand for the first time. Jacob is a cutting it out. Here comes Shady Martin out of the pocket to challenge from second as they hit the half mile station. Now cover third, R.M. Petit Prince. Half in one minute and one fifth. Daya Harlaka to the inside, racing fourth. Fifth on the outside, Fernhill Treasure. Ari's Andrew is still your trailer, and they race by the 5 8 Jacob now, three quarters of a length as Shady Martin gives them a go. Second on the outside, Daya Harlaka third. Then the three wide racing on to fourth, Fernhill Treasure. RM Petit Prince and moving to the inside, but still trailing is Ari's Andrew. And Jacob fighting off the challenge so far. 131. Jacob moves out again by a length. Shady Martin staying close. Daya Harlaka is four lengths back in third. As they race around the turn, it's still Jacob by three quarters of a length. And Shady Martin giving a go, a go again as they round the turn. Heading for home. Jacob and Shady Martin racing and battling neck and neck. Ari's Andrew comes from the back of the pack. He moves into third and is coming on. But Jacob withholds the challenge and wins the third race. 
over Shady Martin and Ares Andrew, Daya Harlaka, Fernhill Treasure, and RM Petit Prince. The mile 202 and 3. And we parade back now the winner of the third race. It's number six, Jacob, a roan gelding you six years by Blissful Hall out of Salt Shaker, she by leg. Owned by Ken Fudge and David Mitchell of St. John. Ken Fudge trains. Jerry Legier drives this afternoon. Jacob picks up his impressive 18th win of this 2008 campaign. This afternoon, 202 and 3. Jacob with Gerald Legier winning the third race. Starter has the horses for the fourth race. We're underway with race number four. Eight of them for $800. Expensive Marlene and Steve Trites. Salzbrook Dandy with Gordy Hennessy. Cocan Rebel and Gerard Gallant. Campco Miranda, Chris Davies. Golden Days End with Sam Hodgen. Stagecoach Gambler, Mark Haig. Lucky Alberta, Lottie Stokes, Mike Berrio aboard, Putnam's Jewel from the outside, post eight. Eight starters for the fourth. Here they come. Hair off in golden days and in the middle of the pack, stagecoach gambler outside. Inside expensive Marlene third. Way wide, three wide around that first turn for the early lead. Expensive Marlene on the rail. Al Salzbrook Dandy in between them racing for it. Three wide is Stagecoach Gambler looking for some space on the inside as they make their way to the quarter. Expensive Marlene, Salzbrook Dandy parked outside. Looking for the hole, finds it now. In second, parked third, Stagecoach Gambler. Cocan Rebel has fourth. Opening quarter, Expensive Marlene is there in 29 and four golden days in. Racing in fifth, now six. Moving on the outside comes Lucky Alberta. Then Campco Miranda. And the trailer is Putnam's Jewel as they make their way by the three eights. They're all by it safely, and here they come for the first time down the home stretch. Expensive Marlene, your pace setter, stagecoach gambler. Hasn't seen the inside yet. Lays Park second. Salzbrook Dandy is third with cover fourth. Lucky Alberta, Cocan Rebel fifth. By the half, one minute and one fifth. Golden Days in is moving sixth on the outside. Then Campco Miranda, Putnam's Jewel is the trailer, but Expensive Marlene still holds the lead. And out from second, here goes Salzbrook Dandy to challenge again for the lead. Salzbrook Dandy, Expensive Marlene holding off. Dandy on the outside, second. Now Cocan Rebel right with the leaders, a third. Lucky Alberta, Golden Days in, three quarters. One, 32 and one, expensive Marlene steps out. Now battling for second is a Cocan Rebel who is finding some room, shaking loose to challenge in the home stretch. On the inside, Lucky Alberta, Salzbrook Dandy, three wide as they round the turn, heading for home. Expensive Marlene, now Cocan Rebel on the outside. Salzbrook Dandy in between them comes a Putnam's Jewel, neck and neck. Cocan Rebel to the front, and here they are. Cocan Rebel wins it. Expensive Marlene and Salzbrook Dandy. Putnam's Jewel, Lucky Alberta, Campco Miranda, Golden Days and Stagecoach Gambler. Time for the mile, 203 and 3. Back now, the winner of the fourth race this afternoon. It's the three entry Cocan Rebel. Big Gelding Seven by Heavy Gambler. Out of Tomorrow Dream, she by Artie's Dream. And this is the Gerard Gallant Show for Cocan Rebel, owned and bred by Gerard and Leo Gallant. Gerard trains and drives Cocan Rebel, second win of the year. Season's best today, 203 and 3, just a hair off his lifetime mark. Number three, Cocan Rebel and Gerard Gallant win race four. And we're underway. 
for the fifth race. Starter has them. Eight starters for $900 here. From the inside, just a reminder, and Sam Hodgen, J.K. Shadow with Mark Hag, Bandit, Colleen and Gordy Hennessy, Always Jarwa, Wayne Hubbard, Diamond Hard with Stephen Trites, Falcons Quick, Lonnie Stokes, Dillinger's Lady with Mike Barrio, the outside, Bat Boy and Charlie Miles, H. Dutters for race five, here they come. That's Diamond Hard off stride. They're off and pacing and racing out to the early lead goes Bandit Colleen, just a reminder, from the inside, overtakes the lead. Bandit Colleen outside at second. J.K. Shadow is racing third as they hit that first turn. Outside of fourth is Falcons a quick. Then it's always Jarwa Dillinger's lady, Bat Boy, and far back Diamond Hard as they race up the backside. To the opening quarter, and they're racing on for it outside. Bandit Colleen seeks the front. Under urging from Gordy Hennessy, takes the top. Opening quarter, 30 and two-fifths. Bandit Colleen, and just a reminder now, racing a second, Falcons quick. Is a seeing the outside third, now moving with cover fourth. Comes a J.K. Shadow, making the way around that turn. As they head to the half, cutting it out, Bandit Colleen. Outside, Falcons quick, inside third is a just a reminder. With cover fourth on the outside comes J.K. Shadow, followed by Dillinger's Lady. Always Jarwa, Bat Boy, and out of contention is Diamond Hard. The half and one, oh, one and one. Lots of action as we race into the turn, heading to the five eights. Bandit, Colleen, and Falcons quick. Yet to see the rail still challenging on the outside. As they pass the 5 8 Falcons quick shows ahead in front. Bandit Colleen and J.K. Shadow is three wide now. Racing on a strong third. Just a reminder, fourth. Dillinger's Lady in contention field. Tightening up. Bat Boy moves from the back of the pack as they pass the three quarters. In one, 33 and one, J.K. Shadow, Mark Haig moves out. Three links on the field. Falcons quick and Bat Boy from the back of the pack now moves into third. Racing out three wide as they make their way around the turn. Here they come for home. It is J.K. Shadow moving away. Falcons quick, just a reminder now, moves into third. It is going to be J.K. Shadow, an easy victory for Mark Haig in the fifth race. In for second, just a reminder. Falcons quick and the others, Bat Boy, Bandit Colleen, Dillinger's Lady, always Jarwa, far back, Diamond Hard. Mile and 203, inquiry sign is posted, the inquiry sign is up. Mike Berrio, call the judges stand please, Mike Berrio, call the judges stand. And Charlie Miles, looking for Mike Berrio and Charlie Miles to call the stand. We parade back now, the winner of our fifth race. It's the two entry, J.K. Shadow. Big Elding Six by Straight Path out of J.K. Beauty. She by Armbro Acton. Owned and trained by Brian Foster of Barnesville. Mark Haig in the sulky. Fourth win. For J.K. Shadow this year, this afternoon, in the Sunshine 203. J.K. Shadow and Mark Haig win race five. And we're underway for the sixth race. Another eight horse field. This one for $1,300. Kara's All American with Mark Haig, Mr. Varbo, and Wayne Hubbard. LMXKR, Charles Price. Quality of Money with Gerald Legier, Bold Ryan, and Gordy Hennessy. Pitbull Hanover, Stephen Trites, Ocean Pacific with Sam Hodgen in the outside, Nicole's Baby and Lonnie Stokes, H. Dutters for the sixth race. Here they come. They're off a great start as they race out of there and are racing for the top quality of money to the inside. Kara's All-American takes the early lead. Mr. Varbo gets away in the second. On the outside racing third, quality of money. Off stride and back pacing into that turn is LMXKR. They make their way up the backside for the first time. Kara's All-American shows the way. Quality of money in Mr. Varbo. Park fourth on the outside is Bold Ryan. Racing by the opening quarter, Pitbull Hanover, LMXKR, Nicole's Baby, and Ocean Pacific Trails. Opening quarter, 
30 and four fifths. Kara's All American cuts it out, leads three quarters of a length as they race to the three eighths. Quality of Money is racing second on the inside. Third, Mr. Varbo with color cover fourth on the outside comes Bold Ryan as they race into the home stretch for the first time. And we've got four on the rail, four out and challenging. And your leader is Kara's All American with Quality of Money. Parked on the outside, second, Bold Ryan races third with cover fourth on the inside. Half and 101 and four. Fourth on the inside is Mr. Varbo. Then it is Pitbull Hanover. Driving up on the outside goes LMXKR. Three wide, Nicole's baby. And the trailer now is Ocean Pacific as they bunch up to the three quarters still. Kara's All American by a length. Quality of money. Three wide is Bold Ryan. And tipping out four wide, Nicole's baby. Four wide, three quarters. 133 and 3, and it's still Kara's All American, the one to beat. Mark Haig has it by a length and a half. Moving to the inside, second, Mr. Verbo, bunching up for third. In between horses, quality of money. Pitbull Hanover on the inside by the cones, looking for room. But Kara's All American steps out, heading for home. Kara's All American has this one wrapped up. Racing for second is Mr. Verbo and Pitbull Hanover third. Followed by Ocean Pacific, Quality of Money, Bold Ryan, Nicole's Baby, LMXKR. Time of the mile, 203 and 1. And back now, parading the winner of the sixth race. Back-to-back -back winners for Mark Haig. Here in the sixth with number one, Kara's All-American. He's a stallion, bay in color seven years by grin from ear to ear out of Armbro Orleans. She by no nukes, owned by Gary Atchison of St. John. Earl Fram trains, and Mark Haig does the driving. Kara's All-American picks up win 10. Of this season, 203 and 1. Last quarter, 29 and 3. Kara's All American back to back winners here this afternoon for Mark Hag. And the starters for the seventh race are at the gate now. The starter has the horses for race number seven. It's our feature for $1,500. It's a diminutive field of five here. From the inside is OB Viking with Chris Davies, Emon Shannon, and Mark Haig. Woodmere, Quick Peak, and Steve and Trites. Jarwa with Wayne Hubbard. And the outside position goes to Magnetic Benka with Gordy Hennessy. Five of them. Here they come. They're off and a great start. Woodmere, quick peek from the middle of the pack, racing for the front to the outside is Jarwa on the inside. OB Viking, though, from the rail position, takes the early lead, and they're quickly three wide around that top turn, heading for the opening quarter. Three wide to the top in between them. Woodmere, quick peek, Jarwa the outside. OB Viking backs off, now races third. Amon Shannon fourth, and Magnetic Bank of Trails. Opening quarter, Woodmere, quick peek there in a slick 28 and 2. Jarwa parked for that quick opening quarter, lays second on the outside. OB Viking has third. Racing in fourth is Amon Shannon and Magnetic Bank of Trails fifth as they round the turn, heading in front for the first time. On top, Woodmere, quick peek, Jarwa. Uh, racing in second, parked on the outside. OB Viking lays third, now moving fourth. Comes Amon Shannon and Magnetic Banker, though, with the leaders, trails fifth. The half in 57 and four. Woodmere, quick peek, takes the lead into that first turn. OB Viking staying close, and Jarwa has not seen the inside. Lays third by the 5 eights. Now they race three wide to the three quarters as Amon Shannon tips out three wide to challenge the leader. Woodmere, quick peek. 
It is Woodmere, Quick Peak now, racing to second, Amon Shannon, OB Viking racing third, Magnetic Benka now moves fourth on the outside, and Jarwa, all done, racing in fifth, 129 by the three-quarter pole, into that far turn, Woodmere, Quick Peak, Amon Shannon is challenging second, and Magnetic Benka has come to third, OB Viking and Jarwa off the turn, here they come for home, Woodmere, Quick Peak, Amon Shannon and Magnetic Benka halfway through the stretch. Quick Peak, Amon Shannon to the wheel. Not enough though as Woodmere Quick Peak takes the seventh race. Amon Shannon and Magnetic Benka, OB Viking and Jarwa. Time of the mile, 159 and 1. And back now with this uh, seventh race winner is number three, Woodmere Quick Peak. Woodmere Quick Peak wins our featured seventh race today and parading back Stephen Trites with the seven-year-old gelding brown son of drop-off out of tabletop dancer, she by Springfield. Owned by David Frazier of Moncton and Alan Jones of Riverview. Alan Jones trains and Steve Trites in the sulky today. Fourteenth win for Woodmere Quick Peak this year. Won 59 and 1 this afternoon in your featured seventh race. Congratulations to Stephen Trites and Woodmere Quick Peak winning race seven. The eighth race for $1,100. There's eight starters from the inside. Wild Cherry with Gerald Legere. Hurricane Island and Gordy Hennessy. Ryan's Fancy with Lonnie Stokes. Awesome Burt and Steve Trites. Island Eagle with Sam Hodgen. Tigress Colleen and Mark Haig. Front running in, Rick Armstrong, the outside position to valid appeal with Charlie Price. Eight starters now for the eighth race. Here they come. They're off in Ryan's fancy and awesome Burt battle for the early lead. Up the inside is Wild Cherry as they race into that first turn. Wild Cherry from the inside takes over. Outside three wide is awesome Burt. Moving up the inside to third is Hurricane Island. Backing off, looking for room on the rail. Fourth, Ryan's Fancy. Then it's Island Eagle, Tigress Colleen. Front running in, the trailer is Valid Appeal as they race for it, neck and neck. Opening quarter, Awesome Burt, 29 and four on the outside. Shows on top of neck, but not giving away any ground. And back on top is Wild Cherry. Wild Cherry now back on top. Parked outside is Awesome Burt. Hurricane Island racing right there, third. Now moving fourth with cover comes Ryan's Fancy, followed by Hurricane Island, a Tigress Colleen. Front running in and Valid Appeal trails the pack as they come to the half. On the outside, showing on top of neck is Awesome Burt with Wild Cherry racing in second. The half in a brisk 59 and three. Ryan's Fancy moves outside, racing third under a tight hold. Gordy has Hurricane Island now back to third. Ryan's Fancy lays fourth as they pass by the 5 eights. Then it's Tigress Colleen. Island Eagle front running in and Valid Appeal and they race up the backside for the three quarters. It's still Wild Cherry and Awesome Burt. They've been battling all along and they're still going at it by the three quarters now. Wild Cherry there in one thirty and four. Awesome Burt and Hurricane Island looking for room. Outside racing out three wide is Ryan's Fancy and four wide. Island Eagle as they bunch up around the turn. It's still Wild Cherry, a wire to wire trip so far. Will it continue as they race for home? It's Wild Cherry now. Hurricane Island breaks free. Coming on the outside, Hurricane Island in deep stretch wins the eighth race. Wild Cherry, Tigress Colleen with a strong finish for third. Island Eagle and the others. Time for the mile, 2.01 and 4.
And back now. Gordy Hennessy parading back, the winner of this eighth race. Number two, Hurricane Island, Brown Gelding, four years. By aces and sevens out of Max Tudor, she by Tudor Scooter. Owned by Gus and John Mazuka of Fredericton, trained by Stefan DeCourcy. Gordy Hennessy up for the drive this afternoon. Hurricane Island, third winning trip this year. This afternoon, 201 and 4. Congratulations to Gordy Hennessy and Hurricane Island, 201 and 4, winners of your eighth race. There's Escape Plan and Gerald Legier. Rapid Kane with Lonnie Stokes. Impish Art, Gary Wright. PH Catman with Stephen Trites. ROF Racing High and Sam Hodgen. Lose Town, Gordy Hennessy. Oh My Beautiful Doll with Mark Hag. And the outside goes to Burton Burt with Chris Davies. H. Dutters for the ninth race. Here they come. They're off and from the rail. Escape plan in between horses. Rapid Kane on the far outside. Burton Burt makes a charge into that first turn. Racing to the eighth pole. Off the rail position. Your leader is Escape Plan by the opening eighth. Rapid Kane on the outside. Racing a second now. On the rail in third is Impish Art. Burton Burt fourth on the outside. Then racing fifth is PH Catman. Lose Town. ROF racing high and oh my beautiful doll trails the pack. Opening quarter escape plan there in 30 seconds flat. To the far turn they go. Escape plan on top with a two length lead with Rapid Kane in second. On the rail racing in third, Impish Art laying fourth on the outside, Burton Burt. Racing around the turn, PH Catman has fifth. On the move, sixth on the outside comes Lose Town. Then it's ROF racing high in the trailer. Oh, my beautiful doll. Escape plan racing on top by the half in one minute. Flat Rapid Kane trying to keep pace in a second. On the inside racing a third is uh, Impish Art as they race to the five-eighths around that first turn for the second time. Burton Burt starts to fade back. Now tipping out three wide goes Lose Town from sixth. Then on the rail, PH Catman. ROF racing high, and oh my beautiful doll trails to the three quarters, holding on to a length lead is Escape Plan. Now out to challenge from second, Rapid Kane won 31 and won the three quarters. Moving to the inside, Impish Hart now takes over second, Rapid Kane racing third. Three wide fourth comes Lose Town, looking for room as well is PH Catman. They're bunching up around the turn. Here they come for home, Escape Plan on the outside. Outside comes Lose Town. Escape plan. Lose Town. Here comes Impish Art in between them, but Escape Plan going to hold for the win. It's a tight finish for a second. We may need a picture there. PH Catman, Impish Art, and Lose Town were all there. Then ROF Racing High, Rapid Kane, Burton Burt, Oh My Beautiful Doll. The mile, 202 and 1. And parading back with his second winner of the day, Gerald Legier here in race nine. A wire-to-wire -wire effort with the one entry escape plan. Bay Gelding four by Art Escape out of another pretty she by Cam Fella. Owned and trained by Stacy Gay of Fredericton, Gerald Legier with his second winner on the afternoon. Escape plan, second winning trip to the winner's circle from 14 starts this year. A new lifetime mark for Escape Plan today of 202 and 1. Congratulations to Gerald Legier and Escape Plan, your ninth race winners. Eight entries for $900 here. Kane rise again with Gerald Legier. Jig Time Silencer and Chris Davies. Dusty Lane Oscar, Stephen Trites. Consider Me Lucky with Mark Haig. Pictonian Best West, Gordy Hennessy. Fit to Paldi and Sam Hodgen. 
We'll see our dolly dance, Ricky Collins, and from the outside, Gold Bird and Lonnie Stokes. H. Dutters, 10th race, here they come. Hair off and a racing. Consider me lucky in the middle of the racetrack. Jig time silencer into the inside. Kane rise again, all racing for the early lead as they race to the eighth. That's Jig time silencer bidding for it on the outside by the eighth. Kane rise again. Now driving up third on the outside. Consider me lucky. We'll look for some room on the inside. Racing in fourth is Dusty Lane Oscar. Getting away fifth. We'll see our Dolly Dance opening quarter though. Kane rise again. Takes him there in 29 and a three. Jig time silencer lays outside parked second. Consider me lucky on the inside racing third. Dusty Lane Oscar fourth. Fifth on the outside moving with cover is Pictonian Best West followed by Will CR Dolly Dance. Then it's Gold Bird the trailer on the inside is Fittipaldi as they race to the half. Up front Kane rise again. On the outside still laying park Chris Davies has jig time silencer there. Consider me lucky caught in third the half in one minute and three fifths. Then moving fourth on the outside Pictonian Best West followed by a gold bird tipping out three wide and they race on up the back stretch that's will see our dolly dance though moving three wide first over to lead a rush to the three quarters it's kane rise again will see our dolly dance now comes to second Consider me lucky racing third. On fourth on the outside comes Goldbird. Dusty Lane Oscar. Pictonian Best West. Fittipaldi now trailing is Jig Time Silencer. 133 and 4 as they bunch up to the 7 8 by the 3 quarters. In between horses will see our Dolly Dance. Three wide. Around that turn comes Goldbird. Kane Rise again is there as well. And they hit the top turn now racing for home. Will see our Dolly Dance. Goldbird through the stretch now. Goldbird comes to the top. Will see our Dolly Dance back there again. They're neck and neck. Looks like Goldbird will see our Dolly Dance. Dusty Lane Oscar up for third. The time, 2.04 and 3. He won the first race, and he won the last race. Parading back the 10th race winner, Lonnie Stokes with Gold Bird. A bay gelding 10 years by Hostile Takeover out of Eagles Watch. She by Falcon Sealster. Owned and trained by Eric Lakes of Fredericton. Lonnie driving his second winner of the day for Gold Bird. Second win from 27 starts this year. Today, 204 and 3. Lonnie Stokes and Gold Bird take today's 10th and final.